In this tutorial, you'll learn how to save your Word and PowerPoint files as PDFs. Faculty often wonder, why should you save files as PDFs? Well, there are several reasons. Here are just a few. First of all, PDF files are much smaller, especially much smaller, than PowerPoint files, and they open much faster. Also, PDFs display directly in Blackboard's content frame. There's no need for the student to wait for the Word or PowerPoint application to launch. And finally, saving a file as a PDF avoids at least one known bug with Internet Explorer that makes it look as though the file that's being opened is frozen. Let's begin by opening up a sample course syllabus and then I'll show you how to save it as a PDF file. I've opened up my Word document of my course syllabus. To save it as a PDF, I can do one of two things. I can go to the File tab and if you happen to see the Save as Adobe PDF option, you can select that. Or you can click Save As and then from the Save As Type drop-down, select PDF. Then click Save. Give it a minute and shortly the file in PDF format will display. If you return to the folder where the Word document of your syllabus is stored, you will now see a PDF version of the syllabus as well. Now I'll show you how to save a PowerPoint as a PDF file in handout format with two slides per page. Click the File tab and then select Save As. From the Save As Type drop-down, select PDF. Be sure to click the Options button. And from the Options dialog box, under the Publish Options, from the drop-down, select Handouts. Also be sure to click the Frame Slides checkbox. This makes sure that there is a border around each individual slide. From the drop-down, I suggest that you select two slides per page. Many people select three slides per page, but this often makes the type on each slide much more difficult to read because it's very small. In a few seconds, your PDF file of your PowerPoint will display. As you can see as I scroll down, each page contains two slides. Now that you have saved your files in PDF format, you can upload them into Blackboard.